What's going on dudes? It has been float switch city out my way and I did not want to subject you guys to that. So I haven't made a video in a, about a week or so. Finally got one with some meat on it. No power. No power to the thermostat. So let me check the float switch first. Always check that first, new guys. Sometimes the float switch would be where the drain pan is. But not this time. Alright, let's take the cover off and see. Check the fuse. Fuse is blown. See the black mark in the middle there. Alright, we'll pull it out. Start tracing the wires, see which one's being a butt. Alright, I got my short pro tool hooked up. If the light's on, you got a short. When the light's off, the short is fixed. This just keeps from having to blow through fuse after fuse after fuse when you're searching for a short. So it just saves, saves the fuse budget. And uh, if you like it, I'll leave a link to one on this video in the description below. Have it delivered to your house. I'm just going to jump out the wires. I'm going to pull red, green, orange, and yellow out and jump them. See which one's causing the short. All right, Skid, I'm going to start with red and green. The red is the power coming into the thermostat, and the green is for the air handler fan. So now my air handler fan should turn on. sec. There it is. No light, no short. So we're good so far. All right, now we're going to jump yellow. We're going to put yellow in the mix. And yellow goes out to the contactor and turns the condenser on. And orange is the reversing valve for the, it's a heat pump, so it's for the reversing valve out in the condenser. So now we have red, green, and yellow jumped. Boom, there it is. So the short is on the yellow wire. <clears throat> we'll go check the contactor. The contactor out on the condenser will ohm it out. contactor nothing looks goofy on it wiring looks good tight nothing skint right, I'm gonna pull the wire off the side here and off of the other side if you can't see through the spaghetti here and just ohm it out all right dudes I should be getting around 19 ohms and we have 19 so the contactor is good some people ask how I know how many ohms things are. Instead of farting around in the slow time, I take new parts out of the box and ohm them and then remember what it is. That's how I get it. But anyway, the contact is good. We'll hook the contactor back up. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna take this yellow wire out and put in this black wire. It's not being used because this is on the third floor and there's miles of thermostat wire running through the floor down through two apartments and then underground and then outside so I'm just not gonna search for a short like that today so we'll just put the black wire on and see what happens well it just wouldn't be HVAC without a somebody weed eating around you we're just going to take this yellow wire totally out of the mix. I got the black wire, stripped it with my strippers. OK, 
connect the blue wire with the pink stripe to the black. And we'll do the same upstairs in the air handler. And hopefully we'll get them some cooling. I'll do the same upstairs. All right, I'm back upstairs in the apartment. I got the black wire stripped. This is going down to the condenser, and this one is going to the thermostat. So that's how I know which one to use. And nine times out of ten, the one with the green hooked up is going to be the thermostat. Going to the thermostat. But I need two hands to do this, and there's nowhere to set my camera, so all I did was strip the black, and I'm going to connect it with the, the yellow. I'm going to remove the yellow that's on this condenser line out. Alright, I've substituted the black for the yellow. This is the old yellow that I've taken out of the mix. Black to yellow. And you can leave the yellow in the thermostat too you don't replace the thermostat wire. So leave the thermostat wire yellow. All right, let's throw the juice on her and see what happens. Come on, big money, no whammy. No light, it's a good sign. Fans on. We're still jumped out. Red, green, and yellow. I'm gonna go see if my condenser came on. All right, it fired up and it's running. Get it, go gone, son. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, man. I mean, it's like a mile long thermostat wire running through the floors. From the third floor way up there, runs down into the second apartment, down to this apartment, goes underground, comes out here. So I'm not getting into that today. There's just no time in the middle of summer. It's running. I'm gonna hang out with it a little while. All right, dudes, if I would have jumped yellow off and it showed good, I would have moved on to the reversing valve, the orange wire. And if it would have showed a short then, I would have gone down and opened the condenser and ohmed out the, what is that, the reversing valve solenoid. And uh, if the solenoid showed good, I'd do the same with this wire down in the condenser, just switch it out with the black. But it's been running a while. I feel pretty confident now to button it up. Whew, it is hotter than a whale's butt. That's the only bad part. You know, you don't, uh, when the reversing valve, the orange wire is out of the mix, it runs in heat because it's a heat pump. And man, it is hot in here. Take my tool out and put in a new fuse. Just slides in there like that. Again, if you're interested in getting you a short Pro Tool, I'll leave a link to one in the video description below on this video. If you got you an Amazon account, you can have one delivered to your house. Take the jumper off, hook the thermostat back up. This is my jumper, by the way. I made it. Custom made. It's got four alligator clips on it. All right, I got the T-stat hooked back up. I kept the yellow, just put it back in the Y slot. Some people like to go all black. You can do that too, it doesn't hurt. Whew, 85 in here, man, I'm busting beads. through the infamous heat pump delay. If it's flashing, that means it's in delay. A lot of new guys that get impatient and they say, oh, it's not coming on, then they just start parts changing and ripping stuff out. Wait till that's solid. When it's solid and just stays on, that means it, it's good to go. And if nothing's coming on then, now you got a problem. But when it's blinking, it's in delay. All right, it's running. 
I can hear refrigerant moving through the lines. I'll run outside and look anyway. I mean, it was popping immediately. I'm still going to hang out with it a little while because sometimes the old HVAC spirit loves to make a joke on you. I'm going to go look outside. All right, it's good. Moving some good heat out of there. All right, it's blowing cold. I've been hanging out with it for about 20 minutes and still no problems. I feel confident to walk away. I hate those ones when you walk away and then 20 minutes later they call back and say it shut off again. So that's why I stay patient and hang out with it a little while. But I feel confident to walk away this time. It's still hotter than a whale's butt in here, so it's gonna take a while to cool down. It was 85 degrees in here and now it is 84, so it's come down a degree. All right, I hope this helps. Thank you all for watching The Dirty Maintenance Show.